Edmonton! My name is Joanne and I'm here to tell you all about raising hens in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. In this video, we'll be talking about how chickens break down food. In other words, anatomy! start with a simple fact. Chickens do not have teeth, but they do have tongues to help swallow feed. Once a feed is swallowed, it passes through the esophagus into what's called a crop. The crop is like a pouch where the feed is stored. Pre-digestion occurs here where amylase enzymes present in saliva are released. Fun fact, you can usually tell if a chick is eating well by feeling its crop. If it feels hard and full, that means there is feed in it. If it feels mushy, that means there is feed and water in it. If it feels just like a sack of water, that means there's only water in it. And if you can't feel anything, that probably means that the chicken is not eating or hasn't eaten yet. Right after the crop is the proventriculus. The proventriculus is like the true stomach of a chicken as acids and enzymes are secreted here. After that, the feed, now called a bolus, goes into the gizzard, which contains enzymes and protein. The gizzard mixes and grinds everything together. It is made up of elastic tissue on the outside that helps stretch and pull the gizzard. There's also what's called a coilin layer that lines the gizzard for protection from the acid that's coming from the proventriculus. Sometimes, chickens like to pick tiny pebbles and eat them. These tiny pebbles are called grit and are stored in the gizzard to help grind their food. Chicks should not eat grit until after their first week of life. Oyster shell is the most common type of soluble grit as it contains calcium, which supports eggshell development. Everything until the gizzard is all about digestion. Everything after the gizzard is more focused towards absorption and reabsorption. The bolus, now called a chyme, enters the small intestine, going through three parts, the duodenum, the jejunum, and ileum. Between the ileum and jejunum, there is a little bump called Meckel's diverticulum. It is the part where the yolk sac was connected to the digestive tract of the embryo. Before a chick is hatched, the yolk sac is internalized and the wall heals up. The yolk sac provides nutrients to the chick, and after two to three days, it is reabsorbed and shrinks until all that's left is a little bump. At the end of the ileum, there are two blind sacs, called the cica, which is rather like a human appendix, but bigger. Fermentation by microbes occur here, where cellulose is broken down into energy that can be used by the animal. After the cica is the large intestine. And finally, whatever is not absorbed is excreted through the cloaca, which is term for chicken's butt. Well, that's it for today. Special thanks to Frank Robinson and Martin Zuthoff for teaching me this in one of my courses when I was in university. I hope you enjoyed watching and learned a thing or two about handkeeping in Edmonton. Thanks everyone!